Wednesday, the 15th of May, 2024, of the seventh week of Easter, is the optional memorial of St. Isidore. Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, how much is the pure love of Jesus able to do when it is not mixed with any self-interest or self-love? Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, take my life and make it wholly pleasing to you. Sanctify me in your truth and guide me by your Holy Spirit, that I may follow you faithfully wherever you lead. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word We follow the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. Since we live by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's lead. Galatians chapter 5 verse 25 It is vital to defend the truth and, probably even more important in God's eyes, to lead people to repentance and salvation in Christ. Speak and live the truth in love. Receive the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. The Epistle I commend you to God who has the power to build you up and to give you an inheritance. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 20, verse 28. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward perverting the truth to draw the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I ceasingly admonished each of you with tears, and now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of His that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way I have shown you that by hard work of that sort we must help the weak and keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 68 Responsorial Verse Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. You kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, His voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. 
Over Israel is His majesty. His power is in the skies. Awesome in His sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to His people. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel May they be one just as we are one. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John chapter 17 verse 11. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world, so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Holy Father, keep them in your name, so that they may be one just as we are one. John chapter 17 verse 11 When we are baptized into the body of Christ, we receive a new family, united in love with our Heavenly Father. And in today's Gospel, Jesus reminds us that the source of that unity is God Himself. Yet we all know that living as brothers and sisters fully united in Christ, while beautiful in theory, is easier said than done. In our families and parishes, each of us brings our own experiences, opinions, and personalities to the table. Discord and clashes are bound to happen. That's why we need to turn to our Heavenly Father, who is the ultimate standard-bearer in our quest for unity. Here's how one Christian author described this unity. One hundred pianos, all tuned to the same fork, are automatically tuned to each other. They are of one accord by being tuned not to each other, but to another standard to which one must individually bow. So, if God the Father is like our tuning fork, then one sure way to live in unity with our sisters and brothers in Christ is to yield to Him. For example, as we surrender our thinking to God in prayer, We begin to view our spouse or children the way that God does. We recognize their gifts or see their point of view instead of focusing solely on their faults. As we read scripture, 
our hearts are stirred by God's call to forgive. When we receive God's mercy, we become more merciful with the people in our parishes. In fact, every time we stop and listen to God during the day, we can realign our hearts with His and find unity with the members of His family. Even in a moment of tension, we can pause and listen to Him rather than reacting out of our fallen nature. Of course, it's not always easy. Because of our sinfulness, we are often out of tune with the Lord. But God desires unity for us, and Jesus himself is praying for us. With every effort we make to yield to him, he will bring us closer to one another. Thank you, Father, for knitting us together as one family. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.